What's up everybody and my fellow roamers, the wait is finally over. The ICP team has decided to move to Marshmallow after having blastic success on Lollipop. So the ROM I'm going to review today is AICP 11 and it's official. First of all, let me go and show you guys the Android version of the ROM. This one never gets sold. As you can see, it's 6.0.1. Now let's go and check out AICP Extra, where all the fun begins. So the first tab is display and animation. In that you can change the animation of the whole system and LCD density. As you can see, I have put my LCD density on 400. Now let's go to next tab, the status bar. In this you can turn on and off super user indicator, AICP logo, and the headset icon which is my favorite traffic indicators carrier label battery bar is also available that's a small thin white line to show live view of your current battery status from your from any screen status bar with the temperature as you can see in my status bar it shows the current temperature of my area so i don't have to go and open the weather app to check the temperature so the next step is notification drawer brightness slider to change brightness in very less time but just swiping right or left in the status bar time contextual header you can put hd images in the notification drawer you can turn on or off the weather task manager force expanded notification and disable immersive mode messages google is doing this to help people new to the android world but i guess you and me don't need it so we can disable it so the next tab is recent panel in that you can enable or disable the clear all button and you can change its location and also option to choose to clear all the tasks or you want to leave the foreground task available for use you can also enable recent apps in full screen lock screen customization lock screen blur effect let me show you how does it work as you can see as soon as I lock my device whichever the last app or whichever the last screen was on my phone becomes the new blurred lock screen wallpaper and one of most asked feature in all the rooms set lock screen wallpaper as you all know that changing the lock screen wallpaper has been hassle for a long long time the next tab is multi sheet you heard it right in that you get pi control i don't use it personally but for those guys who use it be happy it's in the room gesture anywhere this feature is to save users time let me show you how as you can see if i have set this pattern to open the camera it will automatically open the camera from any screen the next is omni resense which i'm currently using it's sleek it's uh, it's nice it's good looking and basically it's a kitkat recent app screen but with a ton of features The next is various sheet. In that you get system UI tuner, scrolling cache, disable all forced close notification, double tap navigation to put the device to sleep, which is no use for me because I use the hard keys, hardware keys, and my favorite swipe three finger to take a screenshot. system app remover is there but be careful about that and last but not least ASCP has provided some kind of sexy easter eggs 
for the user I think just for fun so that's it for today guys this room is very very heavy room many features loaded battery life is good also it is still nightly so bugs will be here and there and if you want to flash the room go ahead and enjoy and now be that awesome person to like this video and i will see you next week and please subscribe to this channel for all the future room reviews